and tearing things up. Local 12's Christian Hauser shows us why neighbors say it's so dangerous and the major step that just may come next. It was just over a year ago I showed you some of the issues the city of Erlanger was having with semi trucks driving through the Cherry Hill subdivision. The drivers aren't intentionally driving through the neighborhood. GPS sends them. They take down the telephone lines and the power lines and everything and get up to the corner and then either which way they try to turn. It's Oh, it, it's bad. It's awful. It's really awful. Donna Haddock says the trucks have taken out power at least three times. Once was in the winter because I, me, him and I had to sit in my car with the heat on for a long time. City leaders have tried just about everything. No truck signs, large boulders to discourage the tight turns. But as you can see, this one was recently hit. They've asked the trucking companies to warn the drivers. They've also had Google Maps change the routes, but Apple has not done so. Haddock says police will even sit at the bottom of the hill to catch truck drivers. They do sit down there and, you know, watch and wait and, and everything, you know, but like you said, you know, they absolutely have much better things to do. <laughs> and certainly while they continue to keep putting all this up down there, that's obviously getting them nowhere. During a council meeting, the city says it's costing more than $6,000 a year to fix what the trucks are tearing up. So now it's considering closing the section of Erlanger Road. No exit no semis. While many favor the move, there are neighbors who'd rather keep it open and just deal with the trucks. I was scheduled to meet with the city manager Matthew Kramer today to learn what the city will do, but he had to cancel. I am scheduled to speak with Mayor Jessica Fetty and some city council members about how the city will move forward tomorrow. I'll let you know what they say. In Erlanger, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. New research is out on fourth doses of mRNA COVID vaccines. It shows a fourth dose of Moderna or Pfizer is safe and offers a substantial boost to immunity at similar or even better.